Hello and welcome to Girl Saver Screen. If it is your first time here, hello again. If you are returning, welcome back. Last episode, we went into the Steel Force and Fake slash Reverse Dion took Iris's tracker. Hopefully, we saw some future events on the newspapers. And of course, Iris is still missing. Sorry, I, I saw a few things to take care of on the way. <laughs> What's happening? Holy crap. Oh no. Sir. Saved by Mr. Flashy himself. <laughs> Sorry, I can't accept your money. I... Bubba Scott. Oh. <laughs> That's very funny. It's hilarious. We're getting hit hard. We're not going to make it. Hold on, Chester. Seriously. This is what the urgency was. Oh my god. So ridiculous. DD &D was the urgency, guys. DD. &D. Okay. The dungeon kraken is awoken by Thodris's fear and passes, <gasps> pinning the warrior to the ground. There's no escape for him now. You're my last hope. I tell the thing to raise its little claws and read it its Miranda rights. Look, oh, guys, this on. game is not for me. Use your imagination, Joe. Hey, um, I gotta go to CCPD. Oh, snap. Oh, my God. Haven't seen him forever. I feel like the last time we seen him was during the trial and stuff. A high profile theft at Mercury Labs came across my desk. What is he doing now? Is he like the mayor or like, I don't know if there's a captain of all police, whatever. But the inventory report says they made off with a gamma absorption array. Vice like that in the wrong hands can cause all kinds of damage. Arrays like this use bursts of gamma radiation to interact with cellular structures. The only way to solve our mystery is to catch our thief. Mm -hmm. So that's how you're going to become Benjamin Button. So the perp is probably hiding out somewhere near the shipyard. That I'm used to. <laughs> Chester, bring up the plans for the shipyard warehouses. Might as well list the whole area on villainhideouts.com. <laughs> I really like Chester. He's kind of funny. That is where villains will hide out. That's what you do. It's the Gamma Array. Whoever stole this made some seriously advanced mods. Oh no. The shenanigans is about to start. You won't be running anywhere much longer. Who is that? Do we know him? You want to save us both some time and tell me what these mods do? Why don't I show you? Did he plan this? Was this a trap? Enjoy what time you have left, Flash. This is why you need a teammate, Flash. I didn't think the villains were out here plotting against Flash, but that would make sense. I already like this episode more. Moderate signs of arthritis, hearing loss, osteoporosis, high cholesterol, and heartburn. It says here that you've aged 30 years overnight. You may look young on the outside, but on the inside, things are very different. Can we reverse it? Maybe, but I need the device that whammied you to even try. Uh, Gideon Runner, meta efficiency test. Test initiated. Whoa, that's not good. Phasing unsuccessful. I think we got it, Gideon. complete meta ability has decreased by 29 percent oh, we can see that gideon i wanted to see how retirement was treating you i was expecting all day football a 
wine and jazz room, not a, an appliance minefield. All these little projects keep me busy. Guys, we've got a break in at Magnus Labs. High velocity object incoming. I'm going to obtain a power more precious than any ever wielded. I like by this a villain. Superhero. We haven't seen a smart superhero in a while. This is great. How's this for power? Oh no, Barry. You need to run. You gotta run. You have to run. You gotta go. This is now good. Sir. Barry. <gasps> Allegra needs to poof over there and get Barry. Well, there's no permanent damage, but you're nearsighted now. That's not the only new thing. I thought he was only supposed to be old on the inside. And if I'm reading this right, um, you aged another 10 years. What? It looks like the, the gamma radiation inside Barry's cells is activated by his speed force energy. Oh no. That's actually very, very smart and great. You gotta stop using your speed. Cecile, I have to find this guy. Dr. Pyotr Orloff, former technician at a small R&D lab. He says here he was fired for using company resources on unsanctioned research. Dr. Olson left any clues? Barry, it's Dr. Orloff. Remember? That's what I meant. This is a terrible idea. Why are you about to let him go? My powers will feel him coming if he decides to show up while we're at his lab. We're gonna take my car. Please wear a mask this time. Oh, good lord. Oh, God. That's not great. I love you, man, but uh, I have not seen you this frustrated since Steve Palmer case. Look, man, I would spend months and months and months on a case if that's what it took, right? I mean, obviously it wasn't easy, but I, I loved it. Are you tired of retirement already? Delayed due to coffee break. You, my friend, need to get out of this house badly. Oh my god, that wasn't good. Oops. If we don't hack past this now, all the data's gonna be erased. I need to run this gesture. Wait, no, Barry! Oh no. I don't have time. We need to run this to CCPD. CCPD? You mean Star? Barry, that's the second time you forgot something. I didn't forget it. I misspoke, okay? Oh my god, Barry. Where are we? <laughs> You're in China? Oh no, poor Barry. Oh, this is not good. Connections in the hippocampus are showing gradual decay. Barry Allen's memory loss will likely be a recurring event. This is not good. If you use that much speed again, it could kill you. Then we need to find Orlov more than ever. All right, getting his gamma ray is still the only way to cure me and stop whatever he's planning. You're acting kind of reckless, Barry. Spend half my day trying to keep up with the changes. Maybe that's what happens when you have more years behind you than you have ahead of you. You're making me sad, Joe. Your life isn't the problem. Retirement isn't the problem. It's you. You don't want to move forward. Do you know why it took us so long? to close the Steve Palmer case because you refuse to learn the new CCPD computer system. My file folders work just fine. Maybe. That is hilarious. I love this. And maybe you spent a lot of extra time filling out forms. No, oh, your life has always been changing. You raised the Flash and he didn't get his greatest superpowers from a bolt of lightning. He got them from you. Oh, I love this scene. Now imagine all the amazing new things Joe West can still do with his life. This is so sweet. I'm glad you're here, Captain Singh. I mean, Chief of Police Singh. I've been liking a lot of the visitors. It's good to see the oldies. 
Oh no, Barry. Cecile, why are you just standing there? Did you forget where you were going to go? I forgot where I was. It's getting harder to remember the people I love. Barry. You know, you're not the first superhero that I've seen go through this. No. Oh, I knew one badass fighter through and through. She never feared getting old. See, she knew. She knew that no one could outrun time. Barry, nobody's saying that you can't go get the bad guy, but don't let your fear of running out of time cloud your ability to see the right way to do it. That's pretty good advice. This is what he stole from his second lab raid. It's an energy amplifier that could boost his machine's output a hundredfold. He just wants to be young again, and I think he's figured out how by taking it from other people. Oh, no. Look at his hair. <gasps> He's so oh green. my god, I didn't even notice that. He did look younger. Chester, what happens when he finishes connecting the amplifier to the gamma array? He becomes immortal. And the city, everyone in it, all age hundreds of years in an instant. You're out of time, Flash, and slower than ever. He just matched the gamma machine's energy output, stopping it from expanding, but if he's gonna overcharge it, it's gonna have to hit some savage velocity. Which he can't. Like, why are y'all just sitting there? Allegra, at least you have powers. Like, you need to go help. Oh, no, 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 no. Biologically, he's over 100 years old. Oh, no. Oh, my God, Barry. Oh, mastering. <laughs> Old mastering Barry. My time. Oh wait, he's much much he's older gone. now. Did he use the machine before he used it on Barry? Because he looks much older than he did at the beginning of the episode. Is he good? You completely regenerated and then some. 29. But y'all know what that means, though, right? No. Birthday party next year. <laughs> They're so stupid. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> oh my god. I'm oh, sorry. Your mom called trying to find you. You said you were staying with her, but she says she hasn't seen you since the funeral. Caitlin, talk to me. <laughs> she's growing a human and she's been crazy okay what's this doing here okay i know how this where's mark Caitlin, what's this doing here Barry, just listen to me i hope you're not bum rushed by mark if i can access those latent pieces in my subconsciousness then i can bring her back she's being crazy barry you need to take her somewhere imagine this isn't frost that we're talking about what if we could bring your mom back or your dad bro no Caitlin. We don't have to say goodbye to Frost. You can't like just bring people back to life because you want to. I'm sorry. Barry, Barry, please. This is not good. Barry needs to watch out. This is kind of sad. Dang. Oh my God, Barry. He is so powerful. She's gonna lose her mind even more. She needs some real help. How are you about to just leave her? Like, help the girl. She's gonna go off the deep end.
Okay, so that was episode 16, The Curious Case of Bartholomew Allen. This was a good episode. I liked it. It was nice seeing Singh again, and the talk between him and Joe was great. It went along with Cecile and Barry's conversation also, so the whole theme of the episode was good. I actually liked the villain of the episode. He was just a regular smart guy who wanted to be young again, which I think is understandable. And the portrayal of aging Barry to me was good because people do get stuck in their way as they get older. I also believe that getting older is a fear that a lot of people have and it tied in really nicely with Joe. I do have to say that it was weird that Allegra didn't go with Barry. I mean, she has powers and she went out in the field last time. So it would have been more important if she went out this time because Barry was actually having issues. But anyways, I do wonder if she's going to officially get a name and a suit because Singh was kind of talking to her about it. So maybe she will actually start training and start going into the field officially. I like the update on Kaylin. I'm glad they told us that she's been lying to everyone and that the team just didn't forget about her and didn't invite her. I did wish that Barry had stayed with her after he destroyed her things because she is going to go off the deep end. Maybe he called her mom and next episode Carla will come over. But aside from that, this was really nice. I have been liking the one-off episodes because I think they've been more fun for the most part. And this episode continued the story. Like Iris is still missing. We got an update on Kaylin and I liked it. Let me know if you did. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, you might like these other two. Subscribe for more videos like this. I hope you have a good one and you'll see me later. Bye.